over to Lindsay, who's uh, Watch her right make, now. making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a mess or I am a mess? Which one? They both apply to me. Anyway, daytime decorative artist Jeff Von Seen from Splat Paint is showing us a very interesting painting technique today. It's called double rolling. I'm excited to see this. It's a, it's a really fun and easy uh, process that anybody can do, and it covers a myriad of sins, too, which is great. And it can be used as a background if you're going to foe in front of it. Absolutely. Or it can just be used as a wall itself. And I, I think we have some images of sure. some of the work that you've sure. done. Uh, right. Like this room right here, that's right. the wall itself, correct? Right. right. There are three different colors on there that are kind of blended in double, triple rolling. And we'll show how to do that. Okay, gotcha. And then now here Same. you fold on top of the double rolling. Right, exactly. And um, and I love um, this this right. children's, this right. child's room. Real dark blue real and black kind of fold together, you know, with the double roller. Easy stuff. And it's difficult to tell in some of these pictures. Now, this one is easier, but you can see the different colors mm -hmm. coming through. Mm -hmm. And that's what double rolling is about. You right. you explain it to us. You okay. roll on two different colors. Well, let's let's look at the first example on the table here. And hopefully you can you can see um, sure. this here. Um, and it's you can do it subtly or you can do it really dramatically. In this case, we've actually taken two colors that are very similar, and um, as you can see, uh, there there are two uh, cream colors. Gotcha. If you look in the um, right in here, in, in, in here. Pan. And what I've done is I've poured one color on one side and one color on the other side. That's it, all. That's what you would do. Right. And usually you would use more paint, but your wall is bigger than this, so right. just a little bit. <laughs> and don't worry about it getting some on each side. As long as you try to keep them separated, you're fine. Okay, so you put your two colors in. Now, if you're doing a triple roll, if you want yeah, a third color, you put it right on in the middle. Right, it's really easy. Okay, and this is really <laughs> basic. And you would tape up your wall. Right, that's really important because you are going to make, you know, your edges, are, you're going to be rolling all the way up to your edges. So make sure that you mask your wall, your, you know, your molding. Or you'll be living with a lot of mistakes. Right. And then so just, roll, this just roll this like this so that you get both colors. And then roll it in, in every direction. Ah, so every direction, so they're overlapping exactly. each other. I'm sorry that I'm reaching in front no, of you. No, reach, please. But I want to see this the, technique. <laughs> but they're two subtle colors, and they just blend together, and you can get sort of a stony finish. If you like a hard finish like that, you can leave that. This almost looks like a, like a skip trow or a Venetian plaster right. finish right. And for a lot less money. Right, exactly. And you can do this in really strong colors. Or you can do it in really subtle colors. Depends on what what your your goal is. Now, I imagine if you put a lot of coats on here, you're going to be ruining the technique. Do you just do one coat then? Yeah, it's all done in one coat. Wow. That's it. You're done. That is actually really easy. Right. But it's time consuming. I can imagine if you're doing an entire wall, would you just want to do an accent wall then? No, you can do the whole room, and it's really nice if you had a green wall and you wanted it to be these creams. Yeah. Just do it. Just go like that, and you don't have to prime out the original color, just go for it. Oh, if you okay. have trouble in the corners, take a little chip brush and get both colors in there and just kind of, you know, dab it in the corners and kind of blend it in. So you're basically saying that if you, let's say you have a pink wall, right. you can start with your pink wall, but right. you can add colors on over it exactly. and get that really rich finish. Exactly. Or if you want, you can photo something on top of that as well for That's design. That's right. You could even put a stencil, um, How neat you is know, that? just stencil one of those two colors right through a stencil. And Great idea. You know. Jeff Monsey from Slut Paint, we appreciate it. Lots of fun with you and Paint. We, we always do appreciate Absolutely. it. And if you want more information on Jeff or I have a question for him, just go to daytimeonline.tv, click on his face. All the info is there. We'll be right back.